What up, everybody? What's going on? It's me, the B E A S T, aka Tokes. And I'm here with my amazing co host, Slang Hugh Esquire. Shout out to Slang being here today. Yeah. How you doing, Slang? What's going on, brother? I'm here. I'm here, man. Yeah. You know what? We haven't asked the question in a long time. Mm. What have you done to make yourself better today? You know what? I, I, I was glad question. you asked that. I, uh, I have some extra time on my hands, and uh, I decided to uh, educate myself with a few mm -hmm. things. Um, seeing that we have this show, and I do a lot of other things on the side in terms of uh, content creation, so I wanted to mm -hmm. get uh, more in depth with the editing process. Right, so right, right. I registered for uh, Skillshare, uh, the app there, and uh, it. Uh, like I, I took a year-long membership, and it's going to help me teach me a whole bunch of different things, such as how to use my program DaVinci Resolve in detail. Uh, mm -hmm. It's going to show me how to uh, market myself on YouTube. I mean, it can mm -hmm. show you a whole bunch of things. So I have a whole year membership to see and dive in uh, on my off days and just and try to learn and educate for myself. Uh, Smart. Funny, funny thing, though, I went to my daughter's um, uh, winter concert. It was held about a week ago and um it, it it triggered me to a point where it's like my daughter would never know i used to you know do these things as a as a young man back in the day uh because i was watching the she was she's in kindergarten so she was first and she was gone but i wanted to watch the rest of the show and i saw the the band come out i'm like man i used to play i used to play mm. so i'm like I'm, and i just went you know what i'm gonna buy myself a trumpet so I bought myself a trumpet and I'm going to just reintroduce myself to uh, playing music right now. So I'm going to be, mm. you know, I, okay. I don't know if I'll take lessons, but I'm going to, I know how to play. I just need to kind of practice. So that's what I was doing. And my okay. daughter was how proficient were you it. before? What's that? How proficient were of a player were you before? I was playing from grade uh, seven to grade 11. And I was pretty oh, good. Okay. okay. So I was in, I was in, I was in the high school band. I was in all the bands. I was that good. Team. So, okay. Uh, a lot of people don't know that because, again, you know, unless you went right, to school with no me, idea. you would never know. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, you know what? I wanted to to kind of bring that back. And and with all these people doing all this content and stuff, then I'm like, you know what? People don't have any idea of the hidden skills I might have. So I'm like, here. And who knows if someone might collab with me or want me to do this or play a song. And who knows? You know, I just yeah. throw my hat in the, into the ring and Shoot, see what happens. I might, so, yeah, you're on something. I didn't know. I, yeah. I, once you warm up. Warm up the uh, was it the wreath? Is it a wreath they use? No, 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 no. My, yeah, mine's just a mouthpiece. It's a mouthpiece. Yes, this it's is the mouthpiece, and that'll be good to go. So, yeah, how about yourself? What have you done for yourself? I uh, was today. Can I always cite the workout, of course. I always cite that. I started a new program. Um, good, trying a new thing, trying a new style, which is actually. It's been kind of challenging. Today was the shoulders day, which was the easiest one so far. But geez, you know when you switch oh. your workout style at first, it's, it takes yeah. a while for you to get used to it. And yeah. I I forgot how how hard it can be when you switch it. It's it's, mm -hmm. it's kind of it's amazing at the same time because you're like been doing the same type of exercises for so long, and now it's, it's just like mm -hmm. yeah, okay, I can do this much weight. The moment you switch it. It becomes more difficult. Facts. Facts. <laughs> or the, Facts. not even necessarily this. Yeah, it's more the it's it's a style thing because this is more of a um, uh, what's it called interval training type style. Yeah, yeah, say. hit. Yeah, okay. It's, it's yeah. more more hit in a way, but mm -hmm. with weights, um, it's it's what is it called again? Yeah, supersets. Yeah, it, it's actually more. It's like triple triple sets. Oh. Triceps. Triple sets okay. of 12. Um, sometimes four, depending on what day it is. Sometimes it's four exercises in a row. But wow. it, there's at least 10 seconds in between, but it's still pretty much in a row. You're you're pushing, you're pushing the envelope for yourself. Yeah, That's good. Yeah, trying that thing. So that that That's good. would be today, that would be that thing. The other thing I would say I did today um is I don't know if this is always a good thing, but it felt good today. As is, is get myself out of my feelings. Yeah, like I was, I was feeling away. Like you know, sometimes you wake up and you'll feel down, or you won't feel as hey. yeah energetic or that type of stuff. 
Um, and I just like I, I I said to myself, no, I'm not doing that today. Today's I'm not doing that. I, mm. just, I literally do a shake off thing. I think I've talked about this before, where I literally just yeah, do it, yeah. go in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> yep. and come out feeling a lot better. So I did yeah. that and it, it, it worked to a degree. It did definitely work. Good. Yeah. Good. That's 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 definitely a good thing. You, you when you know you're not feeling whatever and you can mm. and you can catch it and just just Shook it off. Nah. That's a good feeling. That's a good you feeling. You can't always shake it off. Funk. Right? No, no, always. but I'm saying when you know when you, you know, when you, mm -hmm. when it's gone, when that feeling's gone, you feel great. You feel refreshed. I was yeah. in a, I've yeah. been in a, fl a funk myself. I, I could, so I, I try to do the, the 75 hard and have some issues with things. And my mental, yeah. my mental state wasn't the greatest. So I've always had, I'd restarted it a few times. So now mm -hmm. after the show, I'm definitely going to do my second workout and get that in. And and continue, you know, eating healthy, two workouts a day, um, and just just keep going. Because again, it's not about how you start; it's how you finish. So you could fail a couple of times, right? But when you're at the end of that 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 uh, that finish line, you said, "Yeah," they turn around and said, "Yeah, I just I just did this," you know. I, I just, yes, I feel yes. good. You know, that's that's what it's all about. Getting back on it, you don't always, you don't staying on it isn't isn't easy, but it's not, getting back on it is a greater feet than staying on it to be honest with you yeah 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 this is very true this is very true all right um today we're going to be hitting up about some uh interesting topics well first of all the, the grammys just happened um mm -hmm. i'm not a fan of award shows these days uh so i didn't really take it in i always take the highlights and i'm happy to say that there was nothing that was controversial that happened i guess yeah nothing out of the out of this world that was controversial to me you know yeah, people have yeah, their yeah. speeches people right. have their things and what right, nobody right, jumped right. out and did anything real or stupid that was good right. um uh, however i was upset because i missed the the whole tracy chapman uh uh Tribute? performance the, no, oh. she, she did a she, she did a song with uh with another country artist that that uh redid her, song. her song no okay. and i haven't seen her and she's you know an older woman now with the grays mm -hmm. and whatnot but she sounds exactly the same, and mm -hmm. she got a an amazing standing ovation when for a when, performance. When they were done. That's dope. Yeah, that's dope. yeah. So I was like, man, that's nostalgia for me. I'm like, yeah, that song was big back in the day. Which one? And how many that people? Fast car, fast that's car. Okay. Yeah. That's so I mean, that's the most popular one she had. She won a Grammy yeah. for back in the day. So yeah. I'm like, man, that feels good that people are now um, uh, paying homage to her. And and that song because I mean mm -hmm. you know a lot of people don't get that credit or you know from a great song or, or someone who redoes a song like that here's the original right. and the people are loving it and they're singing along it was great uh, but that got me thinking man the music industry is very very odd Jay Z came mm -hmm. up there and said something about um, how Beyonce's number <coughs> one al album of the year mm -hmm. he made a big speech uh, he wore he got a uh, I guess a humanitarian award of some sort. And, yeah, and he was, he, yeah, and he took his time to uh, kind of say his piece, and he mm -hmm. was he's spitting out facts. So again, it wasn't not that it was not true, but that was the time he could say it. And it got me thinking. I'm like, there's a lot of people, and we were talking about it. How some people that get awards, a you don't really deserve the awards, but because of stats, they get the awards, or they're the flavor of the month, they get the award. Right. So. So I, I I was going through the the list and I did save a TikTok for us to watch, but unfortunately TikTok now has changed their rules with music and they've pulled at least probably three quarters of all their music off of TikTok. I heard it. Of UM a change. UMG. Yeah. So yeah, so UMG has kind of banned a whole bunch of music. So uh, there was a, a Rolling Stones. Uh, uh, TikTok that I wanted to share with you uh, mm. that I want that made me kind of think, and this was just the top ten. And there's a huge list of the top 500 uh, albums of all time. Okay. Okay. Now I I say this because I have I have a I, I, I have somewhere I'm going with this. Okay. So here we are. So top ten of all time. Number ten mm. was Lauren Hill's Miseducation of Lauren Hill. Okay. Number ten mm. of all time. Of all time, of all time. So okay, like, okay. Of all enough. albums ever made, no genre. Specific. Yes, yes, okay. no genre specific. Uh, mm -hmm. Number nine, Bob Dylan, "Blood on the Tracks." Again, Bob Dylan's a legend. Mm -hmm. 
he might have had a great album then. Sure. Okay. Going through Prince and the Revolution, Purple Rain. Again, of course. That's a yeah. classic. That's yeah. eight. Right. Yeah. Going going down the list. Fleetwood Mac, rumors. Again, Fleetwood Mac, rumors. And I uh, sorry, the 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 group itself, legendary. So I'm not gonna fault mm-hmm. that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh number six kind of threw me off. And this was Nirvana's Nevermind. That was that one. One album with the baby in the in the in the thing and smells okay. like he's yeah. and all yeah. that. Again, so a good asked. album, but right, so yeah. it threw me off because I didn't think that they would put that in, right? And again, I'll I'll tell you why I say this because there's a bit more of this. Uh, mm-hmm. Number five was um, the Beatles, Abbey Road. Again, the Beatles, legendary, right? You would mm-hmm. think that they would be on there. Uh, number four, the songs in the key of life, Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder, yeah. Again, you would you would expect that. Mm-hmm. Three was Joni Mitchell, Blue, again folk okay. singer, and she just she just won her Grammy this year too as well. Uh, she did, and then she did, she did, she did. She has a new album out. Uh, okay. Number number two was the Beach Boys, Pet Sounds, and I'm like, okay, okay. And then the number one hmm. of all time was, that was Marvin Gaye's, yeah, and Marvin Gaye's What's Going On. Was the number one album of hold all on. time. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Where's Mike? Yeah, yeah. They see, I know you'd be a smart man. You're a smart man. This, there's this two, is why it there's me two up. men missing from that. But one is more my cultural bias. Fair enough. But it's Fair hard enough. to hard to um <clears throat> dispute. Yeah, Bob Marley's no, the, no, Exodus is one of the greatest albums ever made. It's not a dispute. I was going to say because we were, again we were talking about the movie is coming out. We definitely yeah, have to go see that yeah. movie. Oh yeah, the yeah movie's yeah, going to be great. I'm on it. I'm on that. But sure. but, but but you're right, Bob Marley yeah. for sure. Oh, he is, definitely. He's a do you know where definitely, Mike went? Definitely, Mike. Do you want? Do you Mike landed? <laughs> Michael Jackson Thriller was number twelve on the list. Now here's the thing that doesn't make sense. Michael Jackson has the Guinness Book of World Records record for the most albums sold. He, at the same time, won eight Grammys for this project. And I'm like, there's no metric that that album doesn't hit. There's no metric. There's no metric that album doesn't hit. It was a cultural sensation. It was critically acclaimed. And it was a pop sensation. It is the greatest. It is the greatest album. Of anybody's generation, it's not like, my favorite of all time. No, Prince's no, Purple the, Rain the, is probably more my favorite, oh, but I, Thriller deserves to be there. I get at that. least and on it, the it's, list. Like <laughs> that's the thing. He's not even the top. He's in the top fifteen, not even the top ten. And this man broke records with this album, and it's still breaking records. What's you know eleven? What I'm, I'm curious. What's eleven? Number eleven was the Beatles. Beatles Revol- Revolver. Okay. If I want to go down the list and check where Bob was, just, just go to fifteen. Let's go to fifteen. Okay, tell me where Bob have... is. Me... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Aretha, Aretha Franklin, Aretha, Aretha Franklin was uh, thirteen with "I Never Loved a Man the Way I Loved You." Now again, that's okay. Again, that's yeah. a good album. That's a good album. The Mind Rolling you... Stones. No oh, good. The Rolling Stones got number fourteen for "XL of Main Street." Okay. And then, and then number fifteen was "Public Enemy." It takes a nation of millions to hold us back. I'm like, wow. Well, that shocked 15. me. It, that again, shocked me. This, I mean, if I want to try to find Bob, because mm-hmm. even Kanye West Don't is on number 17. Let's see, okay. 18, and again, Bob Dylan. 19, Kendrick Lamar. 20 is Radiohead. Is Bob on the list Bruce, at all? Bruce, Jesus, Bruce Springsteen is 21. Notorious is uh, Ready to Die, 22. Mm-hmm. Velvet Underground 23, Beatles Jones again Jackson? 24, uh, uh, Carol King Tapestry is 25, Patti Smith Horses 26, Wu Tang Clangs Enter the Wu Tang. Yeah, what they have Bob like 100? What is going on here? The D'Angelo's 28. I'm going through the list right now and I'm, not, I'm not even. No, I'm this Hendrix is, is 30 here. This is crazy. Miles Davis is 31. Is Beyonce crazy. is 32 with Lemonade. I mean, I'm, I'm going to try to crazy. skim through. Michael Jackson's Off the Raw is 36. 
Dre's chronic is 37. I mean, I'm going Bob's if you don't, be here, right? Okay, now. let's not even go any further because it's only getting more disrespectful as we continue. It's, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Uh, and and I, my disclaimer that, is I didn't listen to all the these all of these albums. Okay, so here, Bob listen. Marley and the Whalers is 48. The Exodus what album? album. The Exodus album. 48. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, like, so then, so then I, I, again, I haven't listened to all of these albums. I haven't. But you can't tell me. What was it? Carol King was on the list? You had a whole bunch of people that are on that list. Forget even that. Let's go all the way up to Nirvana. You can't tell me that the Nirvana album had more of an impact on the world than Bob Marley Exodus. Well, th this is why or I Michael Jackson Thriller. No way. <laughs> and this is what I'm trying to figure out. What's the criteria to, to to claim the best album ever? I mean, I'm not even I'm not even going to touch the the next Who's list. That I was going to say Rolling Stones. And, you know, Rolling Stones is a big you know organization and whatever. And I get it. I'm like, okay. You, when they say something or they have an article or whatever, you want to listen. They they know what they they're talking about most times. So I'm assuming. Okay, let me see this list. And I'm going through the top ten. I'm like, Michael's not there. That's crazy. Prince, yeah. Stevie, yeah. Um, um, again, none of the Jacksons hit any any of the top, you know, until Michael was 12. Janet has an amazing album too. The control album, fire. Yeah. But it's not there. But I can see Whitney, that Whitney not Houston. Whitney Houston? Her I'm a little first surprised album? that too. That's a little fire. surprising. That's a little Patti, surprising. I mean, there's a lot of a lot of folks. Patty LaBelle back there, Dion Warwick back there. Hell, even I'll even give Elton John. Uh, I think I'm worried not so much. Elton is kind of surprising. Billy Joel could get up there. Too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Lionel Richie could get up there too. Yeah. Lionel too. Kenny um, Rogers. Kenny Rogers, the gambler. Yeah. Yo, I have that. I have that LP. That LP is fire. I still remember unfolding that album. Like that was one of the fold. It was like the Michael Jackson. Ooh, we yeah. got a full picture. He's oh, getting covered man. in unfold. Those are the days, man. Yeah, two, uh, yeah. Two, two records in one. Yeah, uh, man. Yeah, no, That's the gamble was a fire album. But yeah, I'll say this: there's a lot of factors, right? And as you always say, that he who writes the story controls the narrative. So, whoever mm. was the author of this list. It depends. It also depends on it's dependent on the type of music that they like. Because you're not, we had this discussion. You're not gonna like the same music. Oh, sorry, all genres of music equally. True. true. So if I'm writing it, or if you're writing it, the names we came up, even the list we came up with, quick off the top of our head, is mm -hmm. a lot of R and B. Um, we didn't even get into hip hop. We didn't even get nope. into to, to like jazz yeah. or nope. you know reggae. Right. Or we didn't really we didn't even really touch that. But our right. quick list. Had a lot of R&B greats on it because that's what we know. We gravitate what we like. to that music more, so right? True, true. true so true. I, I, it is a, that is a sub. There is a bias in everything, in every opinion, in every of these lists. There's a bias. There's also the other right. side. There, there's the side of business that certain mm -hmm. people have to be mentioned on that list because, or not mentioned, which is my other point in order to generate the controversy that makes you read the list. You understand what okay. I'm saying? Like yeah. us okay. very much, us talking about it alone is is a reason why they did it, right? A reason- So, so almost, almost, like, click, almost like clickbait. Almost like clickbait. It's just fish, it's just very fishing much wins, like, hey, yeah. let's talk yeah. about this. Oh, mm. we put, put, Okay, wait, wait, wait. We know Michael deserves to be top five, but let's put him at 12 because that's going to outrage the people and they're going to talk about it and everybody's going to come to our site to see this list and see how did Michael not get to on the top five? Well, top ten. well played. That well played. I'm yeah. sure that happens. Yeah, yeah well it's, we're talking well about all of these lists. There's always somebody included where it's like, what? Mm. How did you? Why is this guy there? Why is this mm. guy not there? Why is mm -hmm, this girl there? Mm -hmm. Why is this woman not there? Like what? Mm -hmm. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. Then again, it, it, I, that's why I'm like I've I've tapered off watching these award shows because there's always a different narrative, um, or someone's dictating how we should respect or appreciate some type of these uh, uh, movies, uh, artists, and so forth. It just looks like they're just 
it's force feeding us to. I mean, I can, don't get me wrong. Like Taylor Swift got album of the year. She probably has an amazing album because she's a very amazing artist, guaranteed, mm-hmm. right? But there's other times that there's some people who've gotten this award, and you're like, I never even listened to this song or their number one song on the I radio. Never it was never was pushed. Right. And you're like, who is this? Yeah. Like, okay. Now, again, you're right when it comes to our genres of what we like. You'll never want to say, you know, you'll be like, ah, I don't know. It doesn't, yeah. doesn't feel yeah. like that. Yeah. And this is why they have yeah. these character, uh, these these categories, best jazz mm-hmm. album, best R&B, whatever. When you say album as a whole, I'm, a, I'm assuming it's based, again, on the technical side of it. But yeah. then that, that's not true because some of these albums that are in these categories or in these the runnings for album of the year, they're not really... To me, technically sound. It's just yeah. like I said, Taylor Taylor Swift is a very gifted artist that sings to a certain crowd, and the sales are through the roof because the generation that's listening to all that stuff are gonna buy it and they're gonna run to it and gonna use it for ringtones. They're gonna use it for their TikToks. They're gonna use it for their 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 workouts and so forth. The young ones, right? Our older heads are, yeah, are listening to old school stuff, right? Yeah. So. So when it comes to them giving these awards out, I'm like, man, I don't get it anymore. I don't get it. So I like I don't, that's why I tune yeah, out. I haven't got it for a long time. I, I, I mean, even to. to what you're saying, to, to, to what you're saying, like, uh, yeah, we don't we don't listen to all the categories of music. So sometimes we wouldn't know what this first, how good this person is. What the problem with that, even that theory, is in the categories that we do listen to, to the songs, the albums we do listen to, the ones that are nominated that we do know. They still messed those up. Yeah. The best rap yeah. albums have been messed up. The this yeah. year they got it right, which I was surprised. I was actually surprised they got it right for best rap album this year. What um, with uh with Killer, Killer Mike? Mike. Michael, mm-hmm. yeah. Um that really good album. But uh, he's not the household name and the fancy artist that so I mean, I didn't yeah. expect him to get it. Never mind. He wasn't he wasn't album. wearing shiny shoots and whatnot, right? He wasn't, he wasn't that guy and whatnot. You know, right, he's a challenge and, system kind of guy, so I was even surprised with that. But yeah, they don't. There it, for me, it's been a gradual tapering off. Like I went from times of watching all the award shows, AMAs, Grammys, mm-hmm. music video awards, all these different mm-hmm. ones, to mm-hmm. just watching mm-hmm. BT awards and the Soul Train awards because those were, and um, the Source awards because those were catered to people of the artists that I actually cared about. And I felt that it was more, it was fair. It was more, it was fair for them. Whereas in the other, like we were just surprised about the public enemy being on that list at all. Yeah. Yeah. In in that Grammy AMA arena, it, Mm -hmm. it seemed very skewed to the overground artist or to the white establishment, to be quite frank. Uh, so if you weren't Michael and you weren't Prince and you weren't um, Diana Ross or yeah. those yeah. levels of artists. Richie, Kenny yeah. Rogers, Dolly you Parton, to, all those ones pop, that are turning heads. You have to be pretty much yeah. pop at that level. Yeah. You're yeah. not going to get on, which is to Jay-Z's point, why is Beyonce? Because Beyonce is one of the biggest artists of all time. Why is even Drake not winning that many Grammys? Although his projects can well, be some his, yeah, his, his, pro, his projects are. Yeah, I think they're rushed. Different. They're they're really rushed, and and I think he's just spitting spitting albums out faster than really the quality. It's more quantity than quality. I, I think. I agree. With, with but even with great. singles, yeah. he should have won more. Oh, one hundred percent. Well, yeah. now we're just talking albums, though. Yeah, so, we're talking. I albums, mean, yeah. if you have a few good hits, more power to it. Because again, yeah. you can be that 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 that. That club banger, or that that yeah. one that you tap your toe to all the time, you know, mm-hmm. you can be that guy, you, that that person, that artist, but you have to have yeah. a solid collection. That's why I'm like, when I'm thinking at the list, I'm like, a person like Whitney Houston has banger after banger after banger in her first and her second album, and I don't mm-hmm. think she's she's not she's not she, we didn't even hit her on the list at all, right? Yeah. Not with, and, and and even with Michael, Michael, banger after banger, like. Almost There's every no, song on that, both that, sides, both sides, that, both that, sides, man. The Thriller album, there is no way it shouldn't be on a list. 
on any top 10 list of albums of all time. There's no, that doesn't make no sense. I'm sorry. Yeah, now, sorry. okay, now, I'm now, sorry. now, it, with that being said, I will go in further and said, do you think he's a top 10 singer of all time? Mike? Yes. Because I know no. you said that you don't think he's a great singer. You said that before. Great no, good singer. I, I think he's a great singer, no. entertainer, and, great entertainer, and 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 um, what's what's he's a great uh, artist, vi visionary, visionary. Yeah, yeah. He's okay, a great artist. okay. Great he's artist. the greatest artist of all time. Yeah, but I think when I, it comes I, I, art, artists, artists, artists. It's a fight. Because, he's in there. He's definitely in there. I'd have to think about because, that, but he's definitely in there. Okay, who's who's your number one then? I know we've had this top five and discussion many uh, multiple artist times in our lifetime. Artist, artist. Of all time. and that that's singing. That's 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 uh, the the whole albums, lyrics, Prince, all that. Prince, Prince for you? Might be Prince. You, you're you're a Prince guy though, so I can understand. I'm yeah. a Mike guy. I was a Mike guy when I was growing up, when I was young. But then as I got older, oh, when you understood, understand, you understood music. Yeah, because yeah. Prince, because we're talking about artists. Okay, Mike. Their singing is probably at par. They probably both sing. I think Prince might be even a little better of a singer. I think I think I think, I think Prince is a better singer. Yeah, he you might know, be a little bit better of a singer. When, when it comes when it comes to his ver, uh, his range. Yeah. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mike That's is a better thing. performer, but even that is not that great a the gap. Thing is, the, the thing is because we've we, we're so we're accustomed to him from when he was so so young. So he's been performing so long so you're saying yeah no one can perform better than mike me because is, he's been doing well, so long. okay you see the thing is, mike is a better dad like mike is a, a a dancer he's like a yeah. dancer so people often confuse the fact that he's such a great dancer with him being a better performer that adds to the performance but prince can dance but he also can play instruments like it's, six or seven of them. He, but he's true. He, he does a little dancing. He's not. He's more of a rock and right. roll performer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So no, I'll give I, that to Mike. I, I get you. the performance to Mike. The content, like the material, mm -hmm. that might be Mike Mike's that. Edge, that Mike has be, to. That's probably Mike, Mike hits. Edge. Mike hits you in your soul with the songs that's that he's when he puts out edge. from from oh, yeah. from Man in the Mirror. Do you want to see starting something to bad? Like everything hits everyone all the time. Yeah, Remember but I'm talking, time? this is personal. I'm not saying that you're not right. But for me, Purple Rain is a very deep song. It's, Purple it's Rain. Probably, it's, it's, um, if, if we want to go, if, if we want to go to one of the greatest songs ever written, that is probably yeah. one of the top five in There's my a, book. Yeah. I would agree. Because I'm like, so. oh, I'm my head. Did you did you hear did you hear the story about him uh, playing that in the Super Bowl? No. How? Oh, it starts to rain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, yeah. The, man, the, the, the 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 um yeah, the what you call it? Not the manager, but the guy who was running the the Super Bowl. He goes he goes to Prince. Prince, hey, it's it's starting to rain outside. <laughs> Prince says, hey, hey, you think you make it rain harder? <laughs> what he says? Yo, I, I I accept the challenge. I accept the challenge. <laughs> but he said he said when they were filming and producing, like it was the producer. So when they were producing, everything just just made sense. It was just so majestic that the rain yeah. was hard. He was playing. He was doing a little dancing. Right, he wasn't gonna fall. The dancers doing all thing. But then the 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 glistening of the of the water on the on the on the lenses. And the lights and the steam coming out, every it just made it so amazing. And that's still, I think, to this day, the greatest Super Bowl performance of all time. Better than Mike's? Well, Mike did it twice, right? I, I, I don't remember. I know he did it one the first time. He's the first one, no? When when okay, when Mike was in his prime prime and he yeah. jumped out and he did that stand. And just stood there for like ten minutes. So I'm saying, and they, I don't know. it was, it was, you know what? I mean, people came. Those two Bowl, guys, man. People, people came to the Super Bowl to watch a Michael Jackson concert. That's what they those forgot about the game. Those two guys are. Those two guys are. They forgot about the game. In terms of pop R and B, Prince and Mike are the gods right. of that. You're right. So, You're right. So even when I say Prince is my favorite artist, or I think one or. It's tough for me to say the greatest of all time because mm -hmm. there's so many great artists. Then there, yeah. for me, again, there's Bob Marley in there too, for me again. 
Now, again, so there's other people that before our time too. Yeah, that, it's, that, very that great it's, like, it's very difficult. It's very difficult. Marvin Gaye, he's he's a great artist. Uh, um, um, there's a whole bunch of different ones. It's that another album that, that should yeah. probably be up there on that. Was it on? Oh, he's, he's number one. Yeah, he's number one. Oh yeah, he said. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Marvin Gaye's number one. But yeah, I'm that's even people, that surprising to me. Well, I think and I I'm, think it's, I, the, it's I, yeah. The I'm a big Marvin Gaye fan. The me content too. of what he put out. Okay. Is what I think is because it, it's the timing. It, everything just gelled together for what he put out there. I can see that. And that now, is. now, give or take, now if this is into the consideration that he was killed at such a younger age, that could consider that. Hey, that's you know what? Also, why I would have thought Mike would have been on there. Well, I Mike thought was, I, I thought the dead people would get a, a quicker, a higher, a higher consideration. Yeah. Yeah, but even if Mike was alive, I, I'm sorry, I don't see how Thriller is not on your top ten. One, I'm not even Thriller. saying where. I'm not even yeah. saying where on the top ten, but it's it's right. gotta be. Come on, you're right. I I 100 percent agree because yeah. you're, this again breaking records and continue to sell and continuously to produce revenue for this album mm. that was over what. 50 years? Yeah. Is it 50 years old now? Yeah. Think about Probably. that. It might be more than that. 80s? Yeah. It's at least 50. Yeah. Years. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What am I talking about? 350 documentary just came out. Yeah. So, yeah. which is also that. a very good documentary. And that was a good one, too. That just shows you how. Uh, he yes, I did. I did, I did watch that. Yes. I did yeah, watch that. That was much, another one. How even more talented he is. Speaking of. <laughs> That is the cue. Hey, speaking of segues, we both finished the We Are the World documentary. Um, mm -hmm. I was excited to watch it because, again, I watched the thriller documentary. I'm like, man, yeah. I've watched the behind the scenes and the making of, of the whole We Are the World on I like VHS. It. Yeah. I, I liked it. And then mm -hmm. I said, yo, you got to watch it because you said you were going to. And I'm like, okay, well, let's see what, we, what you think about it. So mm -hmm. with that being said, and I know they've picked certain people to talk in this in this show and so certain people have passed but right. what what is your what's your your take on the on the we are the, we are the world documentary uh it was good um it was actually um really good but if i was to critique it which i guess i am doing right now mm -hmm. i found it kind of surface level like was it in depth wasn't as in depth as I think they could have been, which I get again a lot of moving parts, so that's also difficult. I think um, Quincy Jones is Quincy Jones is dead, right? No, he's still alive. Is Quincy Jones still alive? Quincy Jones is still alive. Yeah. I hope you're still alive, Quincy. Sorry, man. Let me not put that <laughs> on you. Baby. I'm sorry, bro. Uh, but Mike's uh, dead. Um, yeah. A lot of the artists that, there are dead. Is, yeah. yeah. Well, it's quite. A, it's quite a few key. People in there that are no longer with us, I would assume. Um, yeah, yeah. But it was very. I like to see that stuff. I like to see superstars collaborate, which I don't think is ever going to happen again. Like it happened back in those days, especially in that egos way. Taking like, over. Egos, um, even but which but even, even that egos. was a bunch of egos. Yeah. But but you see the thing, the greatest thing about. The lack of technology as well is there's now egos can be instantly gratified or bruised like mm -hmm. through media of social or whatever there's that couldn't happen today because you see how they were able to get everybody there and it was pretty hush hush like the media knew about it but the media didn't know where it was and all that yeah. stuff right I, lo I love that part about it yeah yeah they didn't that's know not happening on. today bro no that's not happening today don't... Someone's leaking. Someone's leaking. Yeah, something. paparazzi's gonna be all money. outside, waiting, taking everybody's picture as they go or, inside. Sure. So, or and sure. then the, who gets more pictures and less pictures yeah. is gonna contribute yeah. to the. They even still had the tension in the room, but that's gonna oh. explode, make the tension even more so, right? Did, did you see? Did you see how how tense that situation was? Like, mm -hmm. again, there was people who really didn't talk to each other. They were like, "Yo, this is your click here. That's your click over there," and I'm like. Shout out to freaking Lionel Richie for putting all these guys together in one room to coexist. Now, granted, him, Stevie, and Mike 
and Quincy run the show. So you know it's going to have a more of a... Urban... icons in control. Right. So you know you're going to have more of an urban feel. So I was looking at to see the people who... Because originally it was supposed to be all black people. That's what they yeah. said they wanted first. They wanted all black people right, thing, but they right. said, hey, you got superstars here. They're Smart. not black. They expanded yeah. it. You know, Smart. They said, oh, Kenny Rogers and 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 Paul Simon and and all these were like, yeah, see, you guys are yeah. smart now. You want to sell something, you got to put everybody in there. And let me say this, man. The white boys did their thing. Like, quick, one, like I said, Chrissy said at the end of the show, there was one scene there where um, was it? It wasn't Huey Lewis. It was um, Daryl. No, Bruce Hall. Oh, they're Hall. Daryl yeah. Hall. Yeah. Um, uh, forget Oates, the other guy's uh, name. From Hall and Oates, there was another guy from a rock band. I forget. I forget his name. Oh, oh, uh, oh! That's guy from Journey. What's yes, his face? Perry. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yep. some Perry. Yes. The three had, it was three of them and Kenny Loggins. Yeah. And what? Kenny Loggins. Kenny Loggins. And the three of them did their piece. And I was like, yo, that might be the best piece one, in all one, take. <laughs> one take and they were done. I'm like, woo. They said that what? might be the best piece in the whole song. Because that boy and Perry you know, can sing. That boy, he had a range. They were saying it. That's, yeah, they were saying it. I forgot Ooh. Kenny Luggins could sing like that. And uh, well, Daryl, uh, I already know. I already know how. Yeah. Yeah. He but I forgot him. that Kenny Loggins had the pipes like that. Yeah. You know what else I loved? Like, it's this type of stuff that I love. I love to see superstars become fans. And you saw oh, a lot signing? of that in that mm-hmm. the signing. Mm-hmm. Um, Sheila E. talking about when she came in the room, everybody in there is like a legend to her, uh, mm-hmm. which. I'm I'm jumping. Yeah. I'm jumping. I'm jumping. But no, yeah. You see, like when when I'm what I was saying about the it could have been more in depth and they could have gotten to deeper layers of things. When she like mm-hmm. they kind of touched on stuff that I like to see when Sheila was talking about, yeah, I felt like they used me to get Prince, but Prince didn't show up. They said they were gonna give me a solo, they didn't give me that. I'm sure there was other stories like people. that in the room, but they for whatever reason, they probably couldn't get these people to talk, and some people probably don't even want to tell that story. I was surprised they talked about Al Jero being a drunk and well, not being well, he being was, drunk, he not was, being aged. He was, he was, yeah, he was drunk though. He was, he was, <laughs> he was well touched. <laughs> Man, we're celebrating. We're celebrating. We're celebrating. We're celebrating. We are the, we are the world, baby. Yeah, baby. I was, I was we like, are the world. I was thinking, hey, he's hey, the only one. The world. Hey, hey, I said we are the world. Come here. I don't think he was the only world. one. But again, they never touched on a lot of other superstars there. I don't think they really talked, except for Diana Ross at the end, how she was crying, that she didn't want it to end. And I feel that a lot of people probably thought that as well. Mm -hmm. Like, man, are we ever going to do this ever again? So when I when I heard her feel feel that, I felt it. Yeah, you're right. This is a one time thing. Here's my question for you. Here's my question for you. Mm -hmm. I got two questions. Yeah, yeah. Why the fuck was Dan Aykroyd there? That's the first question. We didn't call Ghostbusters. What are you doing there, Dan? What are you doing there? It's okay. You don't need to. the Blues Brothers. He can sing. That man can sing, though. He can sing, but not in that group, sir. Come on. Let's be, let's be it was honest. Woman, I, was, was it the woman that said, hey, I wanted Dan Aykroyd there? And he said, Some yeah, idiot he came up there. with that idea. Yeah. Big up, Dan, but nah. Nah, Dan, nah. Not there. So my second part to that question is, who do you think, I, I, I mean, I know Prince is the obvious answer, so let's leave Prince out of it. Who should have been there that wasn't there that was big at that time? Not a current artist, but who no, was. I think, I think no, no one else deserved to be there. No one yeah? else. Okay, no, no, no. Okay. Whitney? I got one in my mind. Which she wasn't there yet. She wasn't there yet. That's before Whitney started. What, what do you mean? She was there. Remember Dion? Like, nah. Dion Warwick's her godmother. She was yeah, but I'm saying Whitney what? wasn't a so, so she wasn't bla- she wasn't blasted. Okay. I don't think she was that big. Uh, uh, Aretha, I think Aretha should have been there. Aretha Franklin should have been yes. there. You're um, going where I'm where I'm kind of going, but um, I got two. Now I got two. Aretha, I'm trying to see what else. Marvin, again, he should have been there. In this, was he yeah, alive there? Mark, I think he was already dead, man. Actually, I don't know. He might have been. 
Well, we have no, to take the timeline. Not. But... Probably wasn't there, but I, I don't remember. Okay, okay. So uh, for for sure, Aretha. That's I'm trying for to sure. check out the year this came out. No, no. I'm trying. We to World out. came out in '85. Okay, keep yeah. going, keep going, keep going. Yeah. So so we have Aretha right now. I know they said they wanted. Um, yeah, um, Marvin was already dead. He died a year before that. Ooh, the, you know what? He would have been in there then. Yeah, would have been true. there because yeah. Quincy loves some Marvin Gaye. So yeah, Marvin definitely would have been there. Mm. Who's so Mike? Who? Hmm. You know what? I think other than that, I don't know. Uh, you're stumping me. I don't know who else would who you would think should have been. Okay, there. so give me of the time, Patty Labelle, mm. Dolly Parton. Mm. 100 percent well, well Kenny was there, so I'm assuming it was a yeah, that's thing. what I'm saying. That. I'm assuming well, you yeah, never know. Yeah. You never know. Uh those are the no, two I, that I, come I, to my mind at first. Dolly Parton for sure. Dolly Parton um, for sure. You're right. I think I think they might have been missing some youth in the room. But I, I don't know you? who. Like who? Cindy Lopper? They had the they had the Jacksons, the the, the, the Latoya Jacksons there. Are old boys sometimes. They're old people. Well, I, I mean, they, I don't think it was more. I don't think it was for the young boys, though. I don't think young girls either. I don't think it was for them. They, they, they so was I'm for thinking, the, the what about groups like New Edition and stuff like that? Nah, right? they weren't. They weren't ready there. They were. They were the kids. They don't want the kids. They didn't want the kids. They want That's the grown. They didn't want the, the That's boy what I'm bands. Man like El, man like man like Elton John. However, oh Elton John should have been there. Yeah, he should. But been. the thing is, they were doing. They remember they did the the Band Aid uh, song, yeah. and they had guys like Sting. And and Elton and all those other people, mind you, they're all Europeans, but they're all over again? there. What's that song called? Uh, I don't even I don't I forget the band-aid song for you guys. We uh I think it was a Christmas song. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's Christmas. Yeah. Time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the only word. It wasn't no we are the world, but they said they used that to fuel them to do their own thing. I'm like, all right. That came before before we had a world feed the world. It did, it did. That's why they that's why they got the idea. I know Bandaid, says, no. uh, Band-Aid was before. Yeah. I yeah. I think honestly, there was a couple of they, like that afterwards, right? Well they had um after, after that they did the uh they did the whole world tour thing. And they sang it on different stages around the world. But you know what? I mean, that era kind of set the tone for them having superstar choir like collaborations. Yes. Yeah. Whatever. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Different yeah. 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 But I on I honestly now, before we even go further, you know there's the, the Eagles. Let's talk about the Eagles though, because mm-hmm. when we were seeing some of these folks singing, and and it, it, this is this is probably the meme right now. When when Michael sang his part, and Huey Lewis did his thing, and Michael was like, he's yeah. got that face with a, what's that? Like, and then Sidney Lauper is there, and then other chicken. He's like, wow, well, 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 like no, all of these, the genius in the room is that all of their voices are so different. They have all these different styles, which mm-hmm. is also a testament to the time of mm-hmm. how music, what music was at that time. Like all of these, yeah. you have 40, 50 different great artists in one room and none of them sound yeah. alike. Can't yeah. do that today. That's also something you can't do today. No, no, you can't. You can't. But it all worked. Like I'm listening, when Bruce Springsteen came on with his part, I'm Yo. like, Bro, his part was in any fire. other world or any other place, I would think this sucks. Like, what are you doing, Bruce? But what it worked. He hit it. <laughs> he hit it. I mean, man, we man's are like, the world. Man's, yeah. What we are the children. <laughs> yeah, man. He, he killed it. He killed, he killed it. it. He That's killed like an iconic part lie. of an iconic song. That's crazy. That's, yeah. Now, this is, here's the question: Who made the choices to to pick out the solos? Who do you think made the choice? But remember, it was the vocal. Say, it was the arranger, right? I forget the guy's so, name right now. Oh, the old guy that was sick. That was that was in the 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 producer there. there? Was a, a balder guy, guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, he, he, so he, he was, was making the choice. He was the one that made the choices. Yeah. 
Because again, we're going through all these guys except, that are, that are except singing. for um, the Kenny Loggins part. Because was it Kenny Loggins? No, Huey Lewis. Be- yeah, because, because it's supposed to be Prince. Prince, it's supposed to be. They're, Prince. they're waiting for Prince, and Prince says, "Yo, I want to bring my guitar in." And, and I want to. <laughs> everybody says, "No, you're not doing that." Sorry. In a different <laughs> room. Uh, yeah. yeah, Prince. Yeah, stay home. Bro. Prince coming. But you, gotta, you, you know <laughs> what? What's also funny is as I'm watching it, they're talking about we want to get this person, we want to get this person, and I'm like, wait, was that person on there? Was that person? Mm. You when they're talking mm. about Prince, and Richie's like, Lionel Richie's like, he's on the phone. I was like, wait a minute, did he? Did he? Was he? On yeah, this? I was gonna say, but he wasn't on that. You know what he was on? He was on. Um, Oh you my Prince? gosh! Man. Yeah, there was another. There's the R and B man, man compilation. Like, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The the men, the men come together. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's uh, yeah, that's yeah. Uh, you yeah. know that's all. Uh, you did that yeah. one. And when but I got again, older, they're they're, they're missing. Remember, what, what's his face left? Uh, Wailing Jennings. The man. Yeah, when I saw him walk out. It's, <laughs> I said, yo, I give him all the props to the rest of you. Is it, is it for me? I'm out. I took his cowboy out and said, went home. And in the documentary, <laughs> oh, they put this on. The good old boy. <laughs> let me let me say, ask you this. I, I was I was slightly torn. I, I was slightly I torn. Dying, this guy's like, well, ain't no good old boy singing Swahili. <laughs> like I was kind of like, bruh. You would get canceled he's today all, for that talk. Dude. He's all American right now. You're a G, oh. but oh. you would have got canceled today if you said that. And it went public. Get it says, and you walked out Willen. because they're trying to get you to see African. Yo, but that's that, that was his he's, joke. He's, no. he's American through and through. Waylon like, said, yeah, Yo, well, man. I'm out of here. Yo, good old boy. <laughs> hey, hey Willie, you coming? Willie, <laughs> you know I ain't seen this shit either. You coming? <laughs> Willie, said, Willie said, I'm, right. <laughs> I'm good. I'm, I'm good, Willie. I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Yo, you'll see. You'll see. You want to say that? I was going to say to you. Oh! Oh, no. Bob is dead by then. Is Bob oh. dead by then? Who? Bob Marty. You might... He might be the other person that I think could have should have been on it, but I think he's. I think he died. I think he died. Yeah, he's dead. He died in eighty one. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. <coughs> when I, again, you you hit the nail on the head when they sang their part, it hit. It was and perfect, it, and it was perfect. Even the whole Stinny Lopper, it was her, right? It was her, and, and that's like, what you wanted. Simon, you want him to be himself. Paul Simon yeah. did it. He did a uh, nah, 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 whatever. Willie Dawson, nah, 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 nah. and Holland Holtz. Uh, I'm like, wow. Wow. Uh, speaking as a, as a producer who's been in rooms with multiple artists and tried to, and mm-hmm. I'm talking rappers, which is a lot easier than arranging singers, mm-hmm. and I've mm-hmm. tried to uh, create that that scene right there. And I'm talking with people who aren't on even close to those levels. So there's those egos aren't even there. They're, there's still egos involved on my level. 100%. So 100%. I can, Excuse me. And, and the them. difficulty in dealing with that, I can only imagine on that level. So to have to 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 see them put that thing together like that, mm-hmm. those level of artists. First of all, I I was kind of surprised that they stuck around that long. All of them? No, not all of them, but most of well, them. Well, well, hit, the thing is, well, I mean, all of them didn't stick around because they did. They brought in the people. Yeah, yeah. The part, the ones who were doing the soulist. Yeah. But now but they, still, they were there because the American Music Awards. So they planned it perfectly, like. They were coming in for an event and said, yo, if you want to slip by right after the show, come on through. So they're like, yeah, why not? That's Dion Warwick wasn't even going to the show. Her Bruce Dion Springsteen Warwick. either. They all, yeah, they both man, was, man was right after his was tour. in Buffalo. After his tour. But that's what, was and sore. that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I don't think I'm staying that long. Yeah. Like, if I was them on that level... I'm like, okay, look, bro. I got. I, I just finished the awards. I've been up all because those award yeah. shows for for the celebrities are different at than us who are watching. At, at That's least, a whole least, day, maybe two, at three least days six day. hours. Yeah, yeah, more than yeah. that because you yeah. got to get ready before you do an True, interview. The, day before. The, in the red carpet. Yeah, the day before yeah. you might have to do something. Full weekend. Oh, it's a You're full right. weekend for them of work. 
And then you want right. me to come to the studio to be in this room, this hot ass room, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which was I, which I, which, which was probably what I think was at least seven, eight hours. Easy, easy. That's my guess. They were done. They were, they were done at, I think. I think they were done seven at in the morning. In the morning. Yeah, yeah, seven, seven in the morning. morning. Yeah. At and it least start, that. And, it start, and they, they started around 11, 11 30. Is that what they said? Okay. Yeah, so there rough, you have roughly around. Yeah. I, I don't think I'm still I'm willing Jennings in out of that, buddy. I'm gonna find <laughs> a way. I'll find a way. What what is this? What is what do you guys say? Like when when God changed stone to bread? I don't believe in God. I'm out of here. Yo. I'm out of here. I can't do this. I can't, I can't be a part of this. I can't be a part of this. Willie, let's go. Oh, Willie. <laughs> I can just hear yo. I'm I'm Kenny, I'm I'm Kenny freaking Rogers. I'm out of here. Ooh, yeah. I gotta go. Double. I know when to hold them. I know when to fold them. My mouth. Willie, you ain't coming. Give my goddamn spliff, Willie. I, I, I gotta go, bro. Sweet thing this is, bro. <laughs> Yo, the amount of egos. I'm again. I don't know if it was more respect mm -hmm. for for uh, Quincy, Michael, and and Lionel. I think that's part of it, definitely. Definitely. But I mean, and I, I think the the Quincy is the real. Not when I shouldn't say that. Not real respect, as in he has a higher. Well, at that time, no. I think he had the higher respect because Mike was pretty young still. I was. I was gonna say Michael was uh, trying to be that yeah. guy, but he's on his was, way. He was. He was. He was putting his voice through through Quincy. Because remember, Quincy, yes. he was there first. He didn't even go to the show. He didn't yes. go to the freaking that. I mean, he just. He, you know, I mean, he was there early doing all his parts. I'm like, yo, Mike is doing it on his Worker. own. Like, if he wanted to, he would have done the whole show, like the whole song on himself. He yeah. would have done. And he didn't want thing. to do it before. That was also. Yeah. Weird. Like, those are the things I like to hear. I like to hear those little things. Oh, because that's <clears> when they, again, when they were saying Prince was on the phone, I was like, did he show up? And if he shows mm. up, this is going to be amazing. But because mm. I couldn't remember, I couldn't. I'm going right, through the voices right, in my head. Right. I'm like, I don't remember Prince singing no solo. And I would have remembered Prince and Mike on the same song. They never recorded anything together. Here's, here's my question. Do you feel bad for Sheila E on how they treated her? Because, uh, frankly, she was not at that level. So That's she why I want to say no. She's lucky to be in the room. Yeah. Um... Man, man, man like man like Dan Aykroyd and and Bette Midler in, in the track. Now Bette Midler deserves to be there, but really listen, Dan, at that time, Danny, Danny, yeah, Bette Midler, Bette Midler, because she she was a singer, Broadway, yeah, she yeah, also right, a big right. movie star. She had she had actual songs that were blowing up around True. those okay. times. Fair enough, uh, fair but, enough. But Danny, yeah. <laughs> they just wanted Dan. Not that. Just one of the movie power. But uh, so yeah. So on one hand, I do feel sorry for her because they lied to her, right? And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think they. I don't know if they needed to lie to her to get her there. Because I think she would have been happy to be a part of it regardless. True. True. Um, yeah. But on the other hand, again, yeah, she's she's lucky to even be there because we wanted Prince. But she was. She was just. She was just on the come up though, right? She just did her single. They pretty just much did her solo al album right yeah, there because she was much. the back. For Prince and Prince Pretty loved much. her. He was Prince was pushing her. It was also interesting on the business end of it. Oh, which mm -hmm. also I don't think would work today is I wonder how do they have royalty splits for that song? Like are people getting paid? I think, no, no, everything uh, yeah, was, that's everything what I didn't I think it was voluntary. Everything so was volunteer, right? All the proceeds yeah. went yeah. to that foundation, that's USA for Africa. So think about yeah. that. That's amazing. Like even, a, remember, remember that's that's the, remember the, and the, the cameraman says, "Hey, you know, if he was writing his receipts or whatever." See, yo, he says, "Yo, what are you doing? This is all volunteers." Like, hey, no problem. I was got to be here. I'm like that type of thing. So, if someone was asking for money, phew, you're in the wrong yeah. spot. Everybody yeah. volunteered their time, their space, Probably. their efforts, even the food. Someone had to buy that food for them. You know. So, I, again, like you said. That probably could never happen again. However, I don't see it. technology it's like now. Power. I don't see it ever happening. Those things are. But 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 technology now shows that you don't even have to be in the same room anymore to do. So that that's thing. part of the problem. That's part. Right. No, of but because the because they did that with the whole uh um what you call it there waving flags there, I guess the Canadian. It was the, would you call it a Canadian version? Yeah, yes, when they had freaking Canon and and Bieber. 
and all the and 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 party oh, okay. and all the Drake yeah, yeah, when they yeah, did yeah. that. So because yeah. the Haitian the uh, floods or whatever yeah. was going on, they did that. Yeah. But not everybody was there. Man, like yeah. Bieber was doing his whole thing at the end, yeah. and he was the he was the, he was the hot he was the hottest one out of everybody there. Yeah. He was the up and comer, the and he was yeah. doing his he was doing his thing in a separate studio by himself. I'm like yo, yeah. And you know, you're that, not, like, that and that. that's what I'm, you're not gonna get. It's the it's the feel of it. The mm -hmm. the fact that we could watch a documentary about how they did it. Fifty. What what are we? Are we at fifty yeah. years later? Forty years? Almost later, fifty. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is is a testament in itself because you're not gonna get that today. Today you would have to have a cameraman in five different studios because mm -hmm. five different because uh, every artist is going to record it at home in their own spot or someplace where they like, yeah. oh, I don't like this part. And that also, mm -hmm. like, if I'm at home and you're, you see the part where uh, where, where Lino was talking about um, Quincy being a genius because he set it up so that they all were in the same room and they'd have to out-sing each other. Yeah, yeah. The challenge the, is on. It, yes, the competition yeah. is on. You're yeah. not going to have that same vibe where people are dedicated to doing their best because it's just like, oh, whatever. I'm mailing it in. Literally, I'm mailing it in. Yeah. yeah. These guys yeah. aren't here to challenge yeah. me or tell me not to do it this way, do it this way. I'm just going to mail it in. Although that might work yeah. well for some artists, the overall feel of the project's not going to be the same. It's not, you're not going to get the, the, my boy giving the speech at the beginning for them to really tune into what they're there for. Yeah. You're not going to get yeah. all that. Yeah, that's true. Now, I, I I do like the fact that um that uh, Quincy stuck with his gun and says, yeah, there's no one changing whatever's going on. Whatever's written was written. Because, I mean, you had, again, egos are things. So I'm like, one guy says, yo, I have, a, I have a, the number one, you know, song on the charts right now. How about a little this? Nope. <laughs> and now some guy, uh, singing live, says, yeah, can you change my voice? Or can I sing this part? And we switch. Nope. Nope. I've been chosen to do this. Do it or you're out. Yes, and That's we sent it. it to you. You could have asked us that a long time ago. We sent it to you. Exactly. They called you to be a part of it. And even, even that, even though like we're, we keep talking about the level of egos, there was a lot of, as the sign said, leave your egos at the door. They didn't yeah. know exactly what they were going to do. They know they were, what song they were going to go sing. That but they it. didn't know the, <laughs> what level of role or what. Yep. That's why the Prince thing is like, bro, no, nah, everybody else just came in. They didn't demand yeah. nothing. They didn't say that. Like Huey Lewis didn't bring the news. You know what I'm saying? Just <laughs> <laughs> about Huey. Huey. That's it. He does that's Huey. It. No all, news. I they just wanted him. They yeah. just wanted him again. They, they they had a vision. They stuck by it, and they and they, they executed. And again, who knows uh, how much money they really raised for that? Although you know, it's probably still in the like. If you do the inflation, they said it's like. A, Couple billion or whatever, but again, yeah. they they broke records themselves, man. Of like course, they sang the, what was epic was, was they played the song around the world at the same time on every radio station. That's so crazy. Everybody heard it. Like because you can't that, do that. You can't with those groups that level of artists. Every station is going to want to play it. The country station is going to want to play because Kenny Rogers is on it. The R and B station is going to yeah. want it because the Point Pointer Sisters are on it. The, yeah. the, the whatever the smooth, soft rock Huey Lewis is on it. Kenny Loggins is on yeah. it. There's no yeah. genre yeah. that was not touched besides hip hop at that time, which wasn't wasn't big enough. You couldn't put wasn't there yet. But yeah, cool more at the same, at there. the same at the same time though. I'm like, wow, you could not do that here because there's so many ways you can listen to that song in a, in in a different format. That wouldn't happen today. No. Like that, that that alone blew my mind because you saw people standing on the on the steps and they were looking at the lyrics and they were singing the song as a unison. Yeah. I'm like, wow. amazing. that was actually amazing. Wow. And like I said, as a producer, that, that was an amazing thing to see. And, and it, it can't be duplicated. Very, I doubt it. Can't be duplicated. I don't see it. Right? I don't see it. Oh, I don't see it. I mean, with with the egos now, with the schedules that people are running right now, um, even now, money. Unless money it's with the artist of that era, or a little bit later than that era, but not. I don't see the artists of this era or 
the 2000s or like maybe no. maybe like the 90s artists maybe early 2000s artists because they did it themselves but nah, they, they would only they would only do it to be relevant there's going to be that's a, what I'm a, a reason see. yeah there's no there's no other reason other than to be yeah. in the limelight again so yeah. i don't again, see, I, something would have to happen another world yeah. war or yeah no you're right something, something tragic has to yeah. bring people together and, and that's again, what it always is right that's that's, just, that's you that's you humanity gotta, you know it that's how it's going to be i mean something will get people talking i mean uh when it was the 9 11 thing it was right right at the super bowl they did the whole u2 thing and they did the whole names of all the people there that had people crying like that had people mm -hmm. in tears and the world was watching it because they're like yo america's got to do something for what's going on and lo and behold that's what they did so yeah mm -hmm. timing has to be uh perfect uh for for uh, uh something like that to be presented again and i don't mm -hmm. know what's in the cars i mean you have a lot of stuff going on in the world today from 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 uh wars both in europe uh and, and the middle east to the controversy of what's going on in our own uh continent of north america both americans mm -hmm. and canadians so who knows you never know you might have some people collab yeah. something interesting or even I hope this situation amazing. doesn't come apart, come about where it's necessary or people feel it's necessary. But <laughs> yeah, I would like to yeah. see it happen just for the artist side of things. I agree. I agree. I agree. Uh, for uh, a final thought now, um, uh, before we even, I mean, this movie that we're going to go see, the Bob Marley one, um, do you think it's going to be as you th uh, as you think it's going to be in terms of documenting the, the 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 man, or are they just going to document the music? <laughs> I think it's going to be the man and the music, um, but I don't think it's going to be a in-depth, like, again, I think it's going to be kind of surface because it's his family doing it, and they're not going to want to disparage him too much uh, or as little as possible. So mm. I'm, I'm interested to see how, you know, the dark side of celebrity, which is which we don't always get to see that. Right. I, I don't expect that to be a big point in the movie. I'm sure so it'll be not, there to a degree. So it's not really a biopic, though, like like the Alley or the Malcolm X or whatever like that. It's it's more lighthearted. Let's be happy, this man. No, I think you're going to get some darkness, but I don't think you're going to get, like... In-depth. Like... Um, Rest in peace, Bob Marley. But he was a womanizer, right? Okay. We're not. I don't think they're gonna go in depth on that. Too tough. I don't okay. think so. But I, it would be, it would be interesting to see. So stuff uh, how how it affected his family. Are we gonna see that? Are we gonna see? You know, he was having kids all over the world while married to Rita. Are we gonna see how Rita was affected or not? Like maybe she didn't care. I don't Rita's know if they're gonna alive? go into that. Yeah. Yeah. And she's still alive. Rita is still alive. Oh man. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That's shocking. So again, oh, but yeah. she's not. Is, is she part of the the whole production of the show, or is it just the? the I think the so. Sons? I think so. I think it's <clears> probably. <throat> probably. Her. probably. Her. She was I'm married to him, so I'm assuming she has right to the estate. Unless very true. I'm very sure true. he didn't leave no will and all that. Mm. Okay. Very true. So, yeah. Very true. Oh so. yeah. So yeah, I I hopefully this doesn't turn into like a musical. You know what I mean? I, yeah, I don't think it'll be that either. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think yeah. so. But. That's, you know, all, that's we'll all I don't want. I mean, there's going to be times where you're going to sing along because you know the song, but I want to hear... Definitely, want to see there's going to be a lot of music. Life. Definitely a lot of music. Definitely a lot I want to see the life. And I think the character who's playing him, a perfect spot for him. Yeah, he's, I can he's, see that. He's done, he's done good work. He's a British boy. Uh, he's mm -hmm. worked the 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 angle or the, or the accent to a point where it's almost almost perfect. It's not gonna it sounded lie. pretty good to me. It sounded pretty good to yeah. me. That's so, also what you know. I'm interested to see. If they're going to have the... The accents at least close to authentic because you know what I go well through. you know what they if if the Marleys are involved they're, I'm assuming they're gonna have some actual homeland people in the show so let's hope, hope so. that they do it we'll, we'll hope that's gonna be uh a good one I'd rather sure. subtitles than bad accents <laughs> really <laughs> yeah well I don't have to read it but if other people have to read it so be it <laughs> I'm freaking have to watch all these other movies with subtitles. Why not? This is true. This is true. This is true. All right, man. 
That's another yes, one. Sir. We are in out. Another great show. Music is music. Bang, Again, bang. Tell me, tell me, tell us what you think. Who do you think the greatest uh, artist of all time is? Who is your? What is the greatest album of all of all time? Uh, tell me a movie. Tell us a movie that you think uh, we've mm-hmm. missed that is a musical that or a biop or someone whose uh, life should be put on the theater on the on the big screen right now. We're open yes, for sir. all those suggestions. Let us know, man. We're here for it. All right. Yes, With sir. that being said, Slang, you have a good night. Uh, we're yeah, in, we're out. Yawn, right on time. <laughs> Perfect. There you go. It's time to go to bed. All right. That's it, people. Have a good night. Peace. Peace.